Hello and welcome. This is James Blanchard, Cisneros at your service. Today I will be reading the December 9th daily inspirational message, the condensed version. It's two paragraphs long. Then I'll send myself, say a little prayer, and then make a couple comments on the message, and I trust that it will assist both of us on our journeys. If you find the message of use, please be so kind as to like, comment, or share, or even join us as a subscriber. Thank you for that. Here we go. Title shining the light into our shadows paragraph one rejoice a great and wondrous blessing is being bestowed upon us today it is a blessing because it is an acknowledgement by god that we are ready to become an even brighter light in this world now we are self-aware enough to shine the light onto the remaining shadows in our minds Awakening from our illusionary dreams, we no longer need to cower away, hiding in the dark crevices of our minds. Now we know that what produces fear, what produced fear in our minds had placed itself in opposition to all, and thus could not be real or true. Now we see our shadows for what they are, fiction. Only the light in us is truly real. When our light shines on everyone and all, shadows cease to be. The more we focus our time and energy on our light, the less power the remaining shadows will have over us. Paragraph two. Today, let us not curse our shadows. Let us simply recognize them for what they are, lies that have been taught to us as true. Knowing we are light's creation, there is no longer a need to focus on who we are not. No long, no, now, when our shadows try to darken our path, we do not run, cower, or fear. We simply use them to recognize that we are being controlled by a mindset does, that, that does not represent the truth in us. Thanks to free will, we can undo what we have done. Now, we know that the state of mind we support is not a function of the external environment. It is simply a reflection of our internal condition and conditioning. Once we consciously realign with the light within, we will reflect on all those we think of, see, and interact with. This decision between our shadows and light, hell or heaven, is always just a simple choice away. All right, shining the light into our shadows. Okay, the light is obviously the light that God is, with a capital L, <laughs> and we are the light's manif physical manifestations. So only, excuse me, pardon me, only the light in us is true. And that's what we're here to share with the brothers and sisters, the light that's, that's true within us. The light or the love that's the only truth within us and all of the lights or the love's expressions, such as peace, joy, compassion, healing, hope, those kind of things, <laughs> the truth in you. Okay, now let's, when the darkness comes in, when our false fairy tales try to take over our minds, anytime that's happening, it's the dark, we'll call it the darkness, okay? When the ego's mindset, with that mindset that uh, seems to try to convince you that, that you should support something other than, than the love in you or others that's true. Any of those beliefs is just the shadows that we're holding on to as real, okay? So when we're, when we're experiencing some shadow today, when we're experiencing the shadow, when we're experiencing the darkness, the judgment, the fear, the hatred, the resentment, the shame, the guilt, the anxiousness, any of that stuff. Let us do three things. First, let us not despair. Let us not despair because that only sinks us deeper into the darkness. Second, uh, do not invest any more of your time, focus, or energy into those emotions. Because when those emotions come, it's not the first time that they came, right? 
We've entertained them before, and so we have sunk deeper into the darkness by investing our time, focus, and energy on it. And so if it doesn't work for us, if there's not a true path, since our true path is to be the light of the world, then why invest in it? Why invest in a losing stock? <laughs> and so uh, let us know. when that comes in, don't, don't start swimming with it. Just catch yourself, okay? That's not what I want to, that's not what I want to be. I want to be this. I want to be the light of the world. And so I'm not gonna invest any more of my time, focus or energy on that, on the stories, on the ego stories and delusions and deceptions and lies. <laughs> okay, and third is um, don't fight it. Don't fight that emotion. Why? Because when you fight it, you make it seem real. And so it's like it's, a, it's an emotional quicksand. And if you fight it, guess, guess who starts to sink? <laughs> you start to sink. And so uh, don't fight that emotion. We're here just to recognize that that emotion or our feeling, it's not us. It's not what we're here to do. It's not what we're here to focus on. So don't fight it. Don't, don't make it seem right just because it make, might make you in the moment feel a little bit better. No. We've already traveled those dead end roads. We know that th those things are just fairy tales. They're not true. They they've just been taught to us as true. And so all we do is come back, come back to, <laughs> to center, to alignment with the light. And that's what we wanted to start doing is the four things we do want to do. <laughs> okay. When the darkness comes, just recognize it. Don't fight it. Just recognize it. Okay. This is a thought or emotion or feeling that I'm supporting, but, that, but a feeling that does not support me or my function and purpose in this world. Okay, recognize that. So when you recognize that, you put a stop to it. You say, no, I played that game many times before. Let me come back. Let me come back to the light. <laughs> come back to choosing to be the light of the world and offering lights, loves, expressions. To all, to all those seeming dark, dark times. So where there's condemnation, you offer forgiveness. Or where, where there's judgment, uh, you offer mercy and grace. You know, that's how we bring the light into the darkness. We shine the light into the, our shadows. Um, two is, um, remember that God uses all for good, right? And so, and the second point is that we want to thank God Imagine if, uh, or if you don't believe in God, the universe, thank the universe, love, light. Uh, and so you thank God, why? Because it's showing you where inside of you, you're holding on to the lies as true. And so these lies are only polluting you. They're polluting the way you see the world. But guess what? You want to you want you want to see when you're seeing the world through the ego's mindset and practice letting go of that delusion. And so, thank you, God, for help for giving me this moment in time where I can uh, make note of what uh, delusions I'm, I'm uh, supporting with my time, focus, and energy, and and therefore be able to let let that delusion go through the act of let's say forgiveness or compassion, or understanding, or mercy, or grace. Letting it go, okay? And seeing, okay, th these, these definitions of my worldly experience do not belong within me because they only corrupt me when they're, when they're inside of me. So I'm gonna let them go through the act of forgiveness and cleanse myself, cleanse the darkness that I was holding on to as true. And when you start to cleanse that darkness, guess what? You open up and your light shines through. There are no more veils between you and this world. The veils are lifted. And guess what happens? The light in you shines through. And point number three is, um, you know what? Pat yourself on the back. Pat yourself on the back because um, 
God wouldn't bring anything to you that you were not ready to handle and overcome. And so if you're dealing with some darkness, with some sort of judgment or shame or guilt or regret or resentment or hate, pat yourself on the back. Because what would the ego do? The ego would have you judge yourself for having those emotions and tell you you're not spiritual enough, you're not good enough, that's why you're experiencing this. <laughs> okay? No. Let's not play that game. Pat yourself on the back. Congratulate yourself that you're bringing out these uh, delusions into the, into the physical form so that you can see uh, what's, go what's truly going on within you. Because the other world is simply a... a rep uh, it's an external representation of your internal condition and conditioning. And so if God believes that you're ready to let go of those emotions, those uh, stories within you that are not real or true, then he's saying to you, hey, you are now ready. You, you, you are now courageous enough to deal with this. I trust you, being God. <laughs> and so... Go ahead, deal with it so that you can uh, overcome it and let it go and teach others how to overcome that too. And so that's the third point, is be grateful and pat yourself on the back. That, uh, and know that you're experiencing this darkness in order to overcome it. And you're experiencing that, it now because you're ready now to deal with it. And fourth and lastly is thank you brothers and sisters for all they're really doing, no matter what the ego says about them, no matter how resentful or judgmental or hateful you should be when you think of them. Remember, everything the ego says is not true. It's just a story that it uses to support its tools so that it can continue to live and thrive through you. Okay, that's the shadow, that's the darkness, that's not us, okay? So, what we do is, we do not condemn our brothers and sisters. Instead, we thank them. Oh man, thank you, person A or B, situation or B or C, for bringing this into my, uh, into my experience. Why? So that I can overcome these experiences, so that now I have that life experience in my spiritual tool belt, so that I can use, so, I can, so that my light can shine brighter, and so that now I can help guide others to a place of light in them help guide others from the darkness, from their shadows to the light. And I do that because you gave me the physical experience, physical opportunity to practice letting go of the darkness and coming back to the light in me. So thank you. I'm not gonna judge you as the ego would have, you, have me do, no. Thank you. Thank you so much for this, this experience because I'm gonna use it as God would, I'm gonna use it for good. I'm gonna use it to let go of my fairy tales that have been supporting us true and align only with the truth in me, the light in me is true and offer only the light in me to the situation now, to my brothers and sisters now. And when I do that, guess what? You have that light experience now. You have it in your tool belt. And sooner or later, God will bring to you individuals who you can help and you can only help them because you have that experience. And that's the sacred circle. And it's when you use all those challenges that you want to judge yourself or others so much for, for good. Overcome it, heal, and then help others heal. And when you do so, you'll see what you went through in the first place, why you experience this, why you experience that darkness or those shadows in the first place. It was simply to help you see that this is not you. This is not what you're here to do. Let it go. Forgive it. Overcome it. Put it in your spiritual tool belt and help others find the way back to the light in them, to who in truth we all are. Thank you very much for your time. I love you very much. If you made it this far, <laughs> I appreciate it. Uh, um, please be so kind as to like, comment, and share. Or join, join, join us if you're still here. <laughs> Subscribe. Love you to have you uh, in this community. And uh, thank you so much for your time. And God willing, we'll see each other tomorrow. Peace.